Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get it all done with me. Organizing, cleaning, last minute Easter decorations. I literally put up like two days before Easter um, on that train this year. Uh, we also dyed Easter eggs. Took about two and a half hours with the footage here and condensed it to 20 minutes for you guys. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'm somewhere in the middle. I just wanted to start out today's video with a little bit of inspiration and motivation. Just want to say, hey, I know that these are really stressful, hard times for everybody. Um, and sometimes watching a video like this or, or planning out your organization can be really therapeutic. At least it is for me. Um, and also sending you guys my all of my love per usual. Um, all of my thoughts and prayers to you guys because I know that I am definitely feeling um, the stress of this quarantine slash isolation. It's been uh, trying working from home with both of the kids at the house. It's been very hard, um, not to mention the stress of everything else going on, you know, worrying about family members. So I really, I don't want to focus on that too much. I just want to say that this is a safe place. This is a happy place for you guys to come and to be inspired and just take a break from reality. Um, I definitely find cleaning therapeutic, so I hope you guys too. But just starting with some organizing, here in today's video, I was organizing Kaya's craft supplies because uh, with being at home with the kids, I wanted to have this easily accessible. With working from home, I honestly, I grab for this stuff all day, every single day. Um, and I have like her coloring crayons and her paints and all of her Play-Doh um, and her coloring books. I And here you see me trying to organize her, out her toys. It didn't go so well for me. I ended up putting crafts in all of these bins and I have been so happy with it. I've been using these bins for the past week or so, um, organized out like this, and it has been a game changer, you guys. I will have these Sterilite um, containers linked down below for you guys. Uh, they were fairly cheap on Amazon and I didn't have to leave the house and I sanitized them before I used them. Super awesome. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have gone for these several, several times in the past few weeks and it has been a game changer. I also keep um, board games and like all of kind of slime and all of the other things like that up above the fridge. So all of the activities are in one place and easy for me to grab in a pinch. All right, so <laughs> we tackled the basement. Um, as you guys can see from the 10K sign on the wall from like last fall, we do not come down here very often. This had become like a catch-all for all of our extra junk over the last couple of months. Um, and I even went into the crawl space, pulled out my bins of like extra clothes and decided to donate all of it. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm going through like old shoes, old clothes, Donating everything, um, donating some chairs that don't fit our table anymore that my mom had gifted me for Mother's Day one year. Um, just lots of lots of stuff down here that we really have no reason to hang on to. So yeah, finally got that checked off of my to-do list and the basement is finally clean.
So the next thing up, I'm just showing you guys super quick what our Easter uh, tablescape looked like. I threw it up super last minute, like I said in the beginning of the video. I threw this up like two days before Easter because I had finally found the Easter decor bin. Um, so just threw it up in time for the kids to have some fun with it. Um, and then I went on to cleaning the ki kitchen and doing the dishes. Mike helped me do the dishes this time. Um, if I'm being honest, he did all of the dishes, which is super awesome. Um, but I was going through, I just wanted to have like a clean space to dye Easter eggs in and I started to pull out like the kids' um, bags that they use for Easter egg hunting and the baskets that we use um, to like lay out for the Easter Bunny to come and fill them. So that is what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of straightening up the kitchen and doing my usual little uh, cleaning tango. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things it's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure Everything makes total sense when you're next to me
So that is what we did in this get it all done with me. What do you guys do with your Easter eggs? I'm always so curious as to like what other people's traditions are with their eggs. Like we will hard boil our eggs and then dye them. Um, but we don't display them. We actually just put them in the fridge and we will use um, these eggs for deviled eggs or like egg salad or something. Usually deviled eggs for on Easter Sunday. Like I don't really know what to do with these. I, I've always thought about like getting like not real ones, like fake ones and dyeing them or painting them or whatever because I feel like it's such a waste of, I don't know, I, am I the only one who feels this way? Maybe. Anyways, we had a lot of fun dyeing the Easter eggs. Kaya did a really good job. She has been growing up so much lately and is just becoming the sweetest, like most unique little girl. It just like, I put braids in her hair and for some reason it made me think like, oh my gosh, like she looks like an almost five year old now. She doesn't just look like a crazy like toddler. She looks like a little girl. So anyways, it's just, it was really sweet and I loved it. But um, that is going to wrap it up for today's Get It All Done With Me video. I hope you enjoyed the, the Mod Podge of whatever's that we did in the past couple of weeks. Um, I've been recording this for quite some time, kind of slowly uh, recording the, the things that I've been doing as I've had time. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. I am back and at it and in full swing for you guys. So I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out. Give this video a big thumbs up, all of the things. All right, I'll catch you next time. Bye.